Whoa. Giant to a maggot, big boss status. Ain't gon' lie, I really wish they would like a cabin. I ain't do no front and get my money on the back end. Yesterday's price ain't today, now we taxing. Way out the fear, ain't no way out for me. They always told me I'm the wave, like I'm way out. And see, I know some real ones turn state, ain't no way I could be. Out here living like the villain, only way up for me. Uh, moving out the purges, I get time if it was worth it. If you coming for my fam, then you know I take it personal. Say that you the goat, I asked around, I never heard of you. Rocky wrote ahead, and there's some things I had to hurt. Uh, pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side. I think we just got eight push-ups. Let's go. I'm, I'm freaking tired. We're going to stop intermittent fasting in two days because I like to finish things that I start. After the two days, then we're going to figure out what we're going to do if we're going to have three meals, four meals. But my goal is actually to meal prep all my meals for the whole day and just eat those meals throughout the day and not eat anything else other than what I put into my macro factor app. This way I know I'm setting myself up for success because I have everything planned out. But the thing for me, which is gonna be a new obstacle, is planning out my meals every single day and putting it in the app because it's just such a tedious task to do. The only thing I'm really nervous about is the fact that intermittent fasting has helped me with controlling my blood sugar and keeping my blood levels under control. And I don't know by switching tactics if my blood sugar is going to get all funky but if i'm meal prepping and eating close to whole foods i think we should be good then again it's all experiment and we just have to go with the flow and try it out and this is to say i'm never not not going to go back to intermittent fasting there are studies out there that say you should take a break from intermittent fasting i follow some pretty big youtubers with all this science stuff and everything like that. I know some people are gonna be mad, but hey, like I'd never really seen intermittent fasting as this holy grail of losing weight because it's really not. It just helps with my glucose levels tremendously. That's the only thing that I'm gonna miss. And anything we do, everything's gonna be tracked. And hey, if we don't lose weight, and screw it. If we fell, we fell. We literally have been losing weight every single month, so. And I'm not nervous about failing. I mean, like, it's experiment, right? <laughs> you know, I need to find things that's gonna help me sustain my health journey throughout this long journey that I have. And I just don't want anything to get stale to me. There's nothing wrong with trying new things, seeing if it works, if it doesn't work. Sometimes it's gonna happen that we fail. Failures happen. Life happens. You just gotta deal with it. Just got done taking a shower. Now, about to watch some uh, scary movies with my wife because we are approaching Halloween. We decorated a little bit outside, but I mean, the more I'm looking at it, the more I feel like we could have did a lot more. All right, let's go over what we had today so I can get to bed. Today, we consumed... 2,480 calories. We got closer to our goal today. We had 191 grams of protein, but we were supposed to get 220. Mm -hmm. So we were slightly off. Uh, fat, we had 118. We were supposed to get 111 grams of fat. So we kind of went over. And we did hit our carb goal. We had 154 grams of carbs, which isn't too bad. So... Hey man, we were only a couple calories off today. This is what I had today. I basically had uh, cottage cheese. Uh, we had about a cup of cottage cheese. My wife made some crock pot beef chuck arm pot roast lean and fat trim to one eighth inch fat raw. Dang man, that's very descriptive. But uh, she made that and we had about 44 grams of protein. We weighed it out and everything like that. Then uh, we have some mashed potatoes made with whole milk and butter homemade. Then we had some green beans with salt. We also had some more sourdough bread today. I had another ratio yogurt. It was 25 grams of protein. Then I had a fair life. I love my fair life, man. Yo, the fair lives be hitting. Then we also had some popcorners again. Just had uh, one bag of that. But then we had our eggs, potatoes, and uh, beef. And then, yeah, that, that was what we had today, man. We didn't hit, but we got freaking close, man. This is our third day using the abs. I'm curious to see what is going to say in the next seven days to see what it's projecting. I mean, we can go to the scale weight, right? As you see, we weighed a little bit more on the sixth. So I, I'm interested to see how this projection works. 
If I just keep plugging in the food, it's gotta adjust to me, right? That's what we had today, which is fine. Uh, I, I've been trying to show more of what I eat. I wanna try to show my weight every day, but since I have this app now, I'll just show the readings on there because it sucks trying to get on the scale every day and try to video record it and then show it to you guys just because it, it takes up a lot of time. And I'm like, I'm typically rushing in the morning time. So someone mentioned in my comments that I should eat my protein first before I eat all my like carbs and fats. And also the app sent me something in an email. Basically down at the bottom it says, we recommend that you focus on your daily calorie and protein targets while roughly achieving your desired ratio of carbs to fats. This approach is easy, practical, and most closely aligned with the core functionality of macro factor. However, if you prefer to aim for specific macro targets rather than calories, that's totally fine as well. So that aligns with what some of my followers have been saying. Just get your protein in first, and then you can distribute your calories through fats and carbs. That's it, guys. I'm going to finish my water here. This is all I have left of my gallon water. We hit our freaking goals today. We fasted for 16 hours. We ate under 2,500 calories. And we walked 10,000 steps. I'm just saying, I think that's a win. Yeah, you ready to watch the movie? Yo, pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison. Pick a side, pick your poison.